investigation, the MBTA bus crash in Newton is putting safety under the microscope. In Sunday's crash, the driver was cited, but that's not always the case. As Chief Correspondent Joe Shortsleeve discovered, MBTA bus drivers involved in accidents appear to be getting a break from the police assigned to investigate. She just rammed the back of you? Literally, yes. R rammed right into the back of me. She's talking about an MBTA bus. At January night three years ago, Amy Lee Collins' Honda Civic was basically crushed on Route 3A in Burlington. She catapulted me into the northbound lane where I hit a minivan head-on. Collins was nearly killed and spent months in a wheelchair. Her insurer's accident reconstruction expert found the MBTA bus driver never even tried to slow down, concluding there was no indication of any brake application. Do you think the bus driver should have been cited? Absolutely. Why wasn't the MBTA driver cited? You see, unless someone dies, MBTA police exclusively investigate all MBTA crashes. And sources tell the I-Team that MBTA police officers are instructed very early in their training not to write citations to their own drivers. What is it that MBTA police supervisors say to the officers? Well, they basically say we don't, you don't write bus drivers. And again, if you do, you know, the ticket will be taken care of later. This veteran MBTA police officer who did not want to be identified says he's seen it happen many, many times. Many, many times what? Where uh, the bus driver probably should have received a citation. And didn't? And didn't. For example, documents obtained by the I-Team show on October 5th, 2012, an MBTA bus hit a woman in a crosswalk in Cambridge and was dragged 20 and a half feet. The MBTA driver admitted it, saying he struck her with the bus's right front bumper. A witness said he was going really fast as he made the turn. Sources say Cambridge police insisted the MBTA driver be issued a citation, so he was. But later it was, quote, retracted and subsequently not issued. And on April 23rd, 2011, a video camera on an MBTA bus confirmed the bus making contact with the pedestrian. The woman told the I-Team the wheels climbed the Cambridge sidewalk and the bus knocked her down. Yet the original MBTA police report quoted the driver as saying, the injured party lost her footage and he fell backward near the bus rear bumper, but at no time did she make actual contact with the bus. That MBTA driver was also not cited. Why aren't there any cases going to court? I mean, out of the, I'm sure, hundreds of accidents that we've booked, how come they never find a bus driver fault at all? The MBTA has never denied these allegations and would not talk to us on camera. In a prepared statement to the I-Team, the MBTA would only say, the facts and circumstances dictate whether a citation is justified or not. Similar to police officers and other departments, transit police officers with guidance from supervisory personnel use their discretion in deciding whether a citation is warranted. As far as Amy Lee Collins is concerned, the MBTA actually charged her criminally with negligent operation. She challenged them in court and won, a judge dismissing all the charges. She's now filed a civil lawsuit against the MBTA. For the I-Team, Joe Shortsleeve, WBC News.